To create a morph transition, we're going to go to Effects, Video Transitions, and select Smooth Cut. And then we're going to simply drop it in between our videos or images. So now you guys can see that we have a morph transition. Now we can easily change the duration of this transition by manually pushing it left and right. Uh, or uh, we can do the same thing by going to the inspector panel, uh, change uh, the uh, manually change the duration or the number of frames. Uh, this will allow you to achieve the exact same thing. We can also change alignment of the transition uh, to either left, middle or right so that it will align with the image on the left uh, in the middle or the image on the right. Uh, for now, we're just going to go with a center. And lastly, we can change the interpolation of this transition too by going to the ease menu and then select, uh, for example, in and out. So now you guys will see that we have a much smoother uh, transition compared to the one that we had before. Now, speaking of easing and out, one thing you will notice is that when we selected easing and out, a keyframe was automatically applied to the beginning as well as the end of this clip, as you saw here on the transition curve. And you can come to any point of this transition curve and simply override that by selecting whatever keyframe that you want. So we can be more aggressive, uh, for example, here, or we can be uh, less aggressive. Uh, and this will give you very different results. Uh, and if let's say you want to go back to the original, simply to the come to the point where you applied the uh, keyframe and uncheck it. So this will make sure that it will return to what it was uh, the original easy and out. So this is where you can customize the interpolation of the transition. Lastly, you can easily copy and paste this transition to anywhere else in the timeline. So with the transition selected, let's right click and in the menu select copy, or you can use keyboard shortcut command C. Now let's come to the other part in the timeline where we want this to be applied. Now, if you notice that we right click and in the menu select paste, nothing, nothing is happening at this point. Also, the position of the timeline handle doesn't really make any difference either. Uh, so what we need to do is to select the in and out points together uh, where you want this transition uh, to be applied and then right click in the menu, select paste or use command V. This is how you apply or paste the transition. Uh, and you can also choose to either paste to just the left of the video on the left or the video on the right, depending on whether you select the in or the out point uh, in between the images or videos. All right, guys. So let's just quickly apply or paste this transition. And uh, this is it, you guys. Uh, so uh, I hope this uh, tutorial helps. I hope you learned something. And as always, I will see you next time.